Howdy folks, this is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. And we'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, you can give us a call in our office at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OH-IO-RVS. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside of this 1998 Born Free 26RB. This one has 115,945 miles. 115,945 miles on a 1998 Born Free 26RB. For those of you that follow our channel, you've probably noticed that I have not uh, been here doing these for a while. We've had uh, several projects that Luke and I are working on that are going on around here. Uh, so I've been kind of preoccupied with those. So he's been doing a lot more of the videos. Uh, but he actually took off for a week here to get away, uh, get some time for him and his wife. So I'm jumping back in here to fill in for him at the time being. And then hopefully once we get these other projects wrapped back up, I will have some more time to do these things going forward in the future again. Uh, again, 1998 here. This thing's pretty clean, really, for the year and the age. Um, both seats here swivel. Uh, both of these seats do have seat belts. And again, they both do swivel. As well as the front seats have seat belts, but the front seats do not swivel. Again, I repeat, the front seats have seat belts. The two front captain's chairs up here. These have seat belts, obviously, but they do not swivel. So you have a total of four seat belts in this unit table pops down there and again this is locked in position right now but this can swivel so you can face the table do your dining eat your breakfast drink your coffee whatever you want to do there uh, this window does open this portion here is screened that portion slides towards the front and that does open there oak cabinetry all the way throughout these born freeze uh, for those of you that follow us and know about these born freeze were a very high quality built unit used a lot of real oak in these uh, just very, very well-built units. Jackknife sofa here turns down into a bed. This one here is going to sleep two people. And then we also have the bunk overhead that's going to sleep two people as well for a total sleeping capacity of four people. This side window here, uh, these are insulated windows. Um, this one here has actually fogged. You can see it there where it's really, really foggy. I do not have a resource here to fix these. Uh, if you want to get this fixed, there are a few places throughout the country the main one that's well known for these is actually down in Florida, slightly north of Tampa. Uh, I can get you that information if you want it. Uh, what I would suggest is if you're taking a trip down there, schedule it with them, get it fixed while you're down there. I do not have a resource around here for fixing these things. They have to pull the window out. They actually pull the glass off of the frame. Then they reseal it all and uh, basically replace it there like that. Um, this one does open. So this portion here is screened and this window is going to slide forward. So that will open. Uh, manuals are up there curtain so 26 rb this thing's about 26 and a 26 and a half feet from bumper to bumper rb stands for rear bath we've got a nice large bathroom in the rear of this coach flat screen tv this is a smart tv uh, the kids liked watching that when they were coming home they were watching trolls and all their little little Movies while we were cruising down the road on our way home from Florida. Um, sorry, I kind of backtracked there. I mentioned in the outside portion, um, I did drive this coach home from Florida. We purchased this down in Florida uh, back in January, I think it was, or February. I went down for the RV Tampa Super Show, and I took my kids to Disney World for a couple of days, and then we used this as our means to get back to Ohio. Uh, thermostat for the furnace there, digital clock, light switches, and again, like I said, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, so if I miss something, please forgive me. Remote start for our own in 4K gasoline generator, showing 719 hours. Lots and lots of cabinets and drawers down through the kitchen here. We have a three burner cooktop. Range hood with fan and light. Water pump switch, and then our monitors. It's going to light up our gauges here. Gauges are meant to be a rough guide. Uh, those can be inaccurate at times if you've ever owned an RV 
Uh, it just never seems like those things will work entirely the way that they're supposed to, but they are. They do make a decent guide for, for a general idea or rough idea of where things are at. Microwave slash convection oven. Rooftop air conditioning unit. The controls for that are on, a, on the unit itself. Headroom um, right here just in front of this bar. The roof from there on back basically is flat. The height here at the roof is 76 inches. Um, then obviously you have the drop down of the roll bar as well as the air conditioning behind that. Um, Born Free put in a series of roll bars in this. They're meant to be, or their claim to fame, or one of the things that they wanted to do was to try to be one of the safest coaches out there. But you can see the bar over here. There's actually, that's a roll bar, a steel roll bar. It's covered by this box here. There's a series of three of these throughout this unit. One in the middle, one in the back, and one in the front. Double basin kitchen sink with a window behind that 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 does open. Pretty decent sized countertop area here. The bathroom's in the back. I'm going to close this door here so you can see the nice large wardrobe in the pantry. So we've got a rod up top here so you can hang your clothes up. Nice large pantry, some drawers below that for your socks and underwear. Maybe a couple bonus cabinets down by the floor. I'm not going to attempt to get down there with the camera. This little brown guy down here, that's your fuse panel and circuit breakers. Pantry here has some modular shelving in it. So you can adjust those shelves for the different size of boxes, dry goods that you have. We'll then come into the restroom at the back of the coach. This is a dry bath, so the toilet is separate from the shower. Another wardrobe in here with a, with a rod up top so you can hang some clothes. Shelf on top. This compartment here, that allows you to get into the outside compartment down by the water heater. If you stick around and watch the whole video, you'll see that. Stool, switch for our water heater. Some more storage underneath the kitchen or the bathroom sink here. Window, a little more storage over top. Fantastic fan in here. Pretty decent sized shower, tub combination. Vinyl flooring back here in the kitchen and bathroom area with carpet up front. Where does a dog with no tail go? He goes to the retail store. Credit to a gentleman that called in yesterday that gave me that one. Uh, pretty solid coach, pretty clean coach for 1998. Uh, we do have the fogging window. I mean, there's a few bumps and bruises, uh, but nothing that really jumps out at me too bad. Like I said, I did drive this coach from uh, Orlando at Disney World all the way back here to Ohio. We made a few stops along the way. Uh, did another small video on the way home of a few different places we stopped that you can check out as well. Uh, run and drove great. Um, 1998 with 115,000 miles. I'm going to call this thing around a seven and a half to eight. The outside shined up pretty well. The stripes do have a little bit of fading and cracking. Nothing too drastic. Uh, bunk up here is going to sleep two people. We have another fantastic fan here. Ladder to access this bunk. The mattress here does flip up and over. So that gives you more headroom when you're getting in and out of the, the cabin area. So you're not bonking your head on that mattress all the time. In the cabin we have power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, power mirrors. Uh, CD player, backup cameras on the screen there. And again, 100, 115,945 miles. If you have any questions on this coach, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 at 440 Ohio RVs. Alrighty, folks, time to run the outside of this Born Free. We are 26 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. So I did personally drive this coach back from Florida. The tires were installed in Florida before I left there. Um, so they have roughly 1,200 miles or 1,100 miles on it. Uh, basically the distance from here to Florida. Um, 16 foot awning. This does sit on the Ford, Ford Econoline chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine. The white portion of this coach uh, still has a pretty decent shine to it for 1998. The stripes are not in awful condition, but they are starting to show some checking and some cracking on those there.
We have a storage compartment down here. Vent for the propane furnace. Vent and access to the refrigerator. A couple of exterior outlets. Storage compartment here, which also houses the water heater. It's nice and easy to get the back side of that water heater to your um, bypass, so you can quickly and easily winterize this unit. Down below that, we have a propane tank. Shoot a nice shot down this passenger side here. Coming around to the back of the coach, we do have the tow package. The hitch slips in right there. We do have the two wheels. I like to call those the wheelie bars. Uh, that is for if you like going up a curb or something that you don't drag this back bumper because there's a longer chassis. You don't want to drag that back bumper, rip that thing off or damage that because that would be fairly expensive if you did that. These rear bumpers do have a small storage compartment in each corner. This here is the vent and access to your water heater. Storage unit in the back end. This door here is strictly just to access plumbing on the back side of the shower. The other small storage compartment with the bumper. Ladder that goes up to the roof. Backup camera is mounted up top up there. Seven way trailer plug. Black and gray water tank dumps with your standard bayonet connection fitting for your sewer hose. I did open this one up because it's a little easier to get to, but this you can see is the store is strictly to access the plumbing on the shower. A little outside work light. Uh, this is going to be cable TV and telephone. Gasoline. This does have air assisted suspension on the rear end. These are just your normal tire valves. So you're going to stick your gauge on there or your air chuck to fill or inflate and deflate those airbags. That's for if you got a little heavy load, uh, you can pump those up, basically smooth things out or stiffen up your suspension. Gonna fill your onboard freshwater tank here. This here is your city water connection. Two coach batteries on a slide out tray. Onan Microlite 4K gasoline generator. Drop this door down. We have a nice large storage compartment underneath the sofa. There are doors here and here, so the storage compartment can be accessed from either inside or outside of the coach. The shore power cord laying there. Like I said, it has a decent shine on it for 1998. Give you a closer look at the stripes here on the driver's side. 